Hey there, everyone. For those who don't already know me, my name is Nathan, and I run my own business called Minnesota Mobile Guy, doing all kinds of different smartphone software support services. Here with me today, I have an LG G4 that I've been working on. And if we proceed through the setup menu here that I have it at, we will eventually here come to a screen that demonstrates one of the newer security features that's being included on smartphones these days. Give me a second here, and I'll have it pulled up. Okay, there we go. So this being an Android phone, this phone has a lock enabled that is asking us to sign in with a Google account that was last used on the phone before it was factory reset. Security features like this are becoming very commonplace nowadays in a lot of phones from every different manufacturer. Now, when used correctly, they can help eliminate a lot of problems, avoid fraud, things of that nature. But they can also cause headaches for a lot of people. And I can't tell you how many times a client has contacted me asking me to help them with this specific issue on their phone because either they were sold a used phone by a seller who was dishonest and didn't tell them about the lock on the phone, or they themselves became locked out of the phone and had to reset it but didn't remember their Google account information to get back into it. So I've been assisting clients everywhere all over the world with these kinds of issues, and that's something that I can also do to the G4 here, as we'll see here in a second. This is one that a client has actually sent to me to ask me to help work on and get them fixed for them so that they are able to use it because they were sold the phone by a seller who was dishonest about the phone status. So I'm going to go ahead and get that taken care of here in a second and then we'll reboot the phone and be able to see that now when we go through the setup process it does not ask for that Google account and we can use the phone perfectly normally. Give me two seconds while I finish up the process here. All right, there we go. The phone is rebooted here, so we'll give it just a couple seconds to finish that up, and then we'll walk through the setup process again and show that the phone can be used without that Google block appearing. Okay, we're back at the setup menu again, so we're going to do the same steps as before. So it's going to start off with asking us to select which language on the phone we'd like to use. We're going to do that. It pulls up the Wi-Fi page, which I have already done, so we're going to go ahead and skip through that also. And then now here, on this part with the checking connection, this was where that lock was enabled before. So since we are connected to Wi-Fi, the phone's going to run through and verify, just make sure that everything turns out good and then it will let us through there without asking us to sign in to that Google account. Like it does say on the screen, sometimes it can take a while. There we go, it's on to the next step, which is checking for software updates. And now it's asking us if we want to transfer info from another phone that we had used previously. Now before, this is where that lock would pop up, but now it's simply asking us to add our own Google account to the phone instead of asking the one that was on the phone before. So that lock has now been fully removed and the phone is fully usable for use. I'm going to go ahead and skip through the rest of everything here just to get to the home screen to show you that the phone is fully usable. Run through all the terms and conditions and the rest of the setup wizard, and there we are. So we now have the full home screen loaded, and we are able to use this phone just as normal again without that Google lock being enabled. So if you have an LG G4 and need to get the Google account lock removed from your phone, go ahead and get in contact with me. All the details will be right in the video description. Para todos los hispanos hablantes, también hablo español, así que no deben contactarse conmigo. Like I said in the beginning, my business offers tons of different services, and I have lots of other videos on my channel, so make sure you guys check all those out also, as I'm sure you'll find something else that you're interested in also. And make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there to be notified of all the new videos that I put up, since I'm constantly doing them, just like this one. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.